You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest or some special guests in the building. Freddie and Jason. Fabulous and Jada Kiss. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It took y'all What's long up? enough, damn it, to get this done. Yo, it was like three years. Just get right into it. Wasn't that long? Yeah, it like wasn't years. no three no years, way. man. In internet dog years, maybe. Yeah. Not in real life. Don't let the internet rush you, young bud. <laughs> How long you know did it take you? Friday on Elm Street. How long did it take? Maybe a year, but it was... It Not was... even a year. We announced it. We messed, We made a mistake. I think it was a year, it. though. Mm -hmm. then it, yeah. it was over a year. It, was, it might have been a year, though. but that's not crazy. Yeah, and we started and stopped, and we wanted the project to come out in the fall, winter versus this. This we don't feel like this project was a summer, spring project. Definitely <laughs> hoodie. About, definitely hoodie music. I thought yeah. it was Halloween. I thought it was supposed to come out Halloween two Halloweens ago. No. Damn, no? maybe. <laughs> I've been waiting for a minute. <laughs> nah. Who approached who about making this project though? Um, I came to Kiss because um we were doing the freestyles every Friday. Kiss was doing with Envy. I was doing with Clue, and um I felt like it was generating a lot of talk, a lot of interest. Um, you know, we had the ears, you know, I mean, a hip hop at the time, and I was like, "Yo, Kiss, why we, why we, we take advantage of this when you, it's, it's, it's a, it's a good opportunity to take advantage when you got people ears. People like underestimate that. Like everybody's not always listening. Or, you know, some people you miss projects every day just because you don't. You know, everybody's in their own music. life. Yeah, right. and a lot of music comes out. So if you got people paying attention to you, you like. You got to take advantage of that. Now, that might have been three years ago, now that you say that. I ain't going to lie. You said it. Definitely. <laughs> the Freestyle Friday. We did the Freestyle Friday at the top of 2016. That was, uh, yeah. It was the top of 2016. Dumb long ago. ago. It was the top Let of 2016. See. It was like March or or, oh, or something like that. <laughs> let me look it up. I'm going to let y'all know, see who's lying. Now, how hard was it to work with each other? Because both of you guys are on different schedules, different shows, different platforms, different places to get yourself together in the same studio. How hard was that? It really not that easy. hard. It He's really a cool wasn't. Guy, man. He's a cool, <laughs> cool guy to work with, man, to be around. You know, it's not some artist you like, all right. Yeah, it wasn't, too, you know. We, we both were, were, were flexible and in, in, in working with each other. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I went up to Yonkers. He came out on the Jersey. And, we worked in each other's studios, you know what I'm saying? Like now, Kiss was, has been known to take a long time to do records sometimes. Yeah, that's a, a lot of that, times. Yo, was... that's, a, that's like the, the myth around Kiss. <laughs> he that's, laughing. That's bullshit. Yo, that's like a myth around Kiss, but this one, it is. <laughs> I, I go high. Let me let the cat in. out the back. Yeah. He's when the I king take of the curve. Long, it's because I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, tell me. There you go. <laughs> That's what I say, yo. And, yo, going into it, he was like, yo, man, you gonna get to get kissed to us? And I'm like, yeah, we just gonna get it done. And we got it done. And I ain't never feel none he of that. Like, you know what I mean? He didn't see none of that y'all talking about because it's not <laughs> No, that. but it is Some a little myth. Are it's hurt. a little it shit is. around kiss that, yo, you want a verse from kiss? It take forever. You know why? Like, Most people that feel that way, they did me greasy. <laughs> they did something to me, dog. But you said yourself you're the king of the curve. Yeah, because oh. I had to learn how to, you know who I learned it from? Who? Happy birthday, ho. <laughs> you know what I mean? I learned from so, the best. So basically, when you take long with Envy, it's because like you really don't like him. No, but if no. he didn't have the Envy, me and Envy, Envy, Envy was my, me and him was in the backcourt together. Gotcha, so gotcha. it wasn't like, right. I'm talking about like a art, uh, even like a Khaled. Khaled called me for one of his albums. I'm taking long because you don't he like does Khaled. stuff to, no, I no, like him, no. but. It it, it, it paid the situation. For, yeah, you know you're gonna the get same Drake thing, the single or Weezy yeah. or one of them. Oh. I do the same thing too. You're doing the same thing, so I don't. No, I mean I understand. And sometimes it's timing. Mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes it's the timing time could be off. You could be doing something mm -hmm. else. You could be working on some. Everybody takes it personal sometimes. Yeah, that you know what I mean. People want from, what they want from you when they want it, and the reciprocation you can, ain't the same. You can miss hits like that sometimes, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every artist that and y'all should ask them that when they come. Every artist that missed a hit record because either they didn't do it, they was you know what I mean doing their own thing, Facts. or just I missed, you missed a record. So like, what right, you tell, tell us, what'd you tell miss? us what'd you something y'all missed. Your yeah. yeah. record with Nicki. That would have been a hit if it came out the right time. I want to hear nah, from them. that wasn't that. That was just a Clarence thing. Uh, yeah. Grace, you, Grace Jones never wanted to clear that record. Uh, what'd you miss, Fab? What record did you miss? Uh, I missed a couple records. You remember the record? Um, remember the record with Rick Ross and I think it was Nelly on it. And he said, Yeah, 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 yeah I missed yeah. that record. You, that was, was your record. I was supposed to actually come in when he said, "Tell the truth, life fabulous." And, uh, 
something like oh, that. And I was supposed to come in right yeah, there. Yeah. But I was just running and, and didn't get to do the verse in time. And man. What about you, kids? What you more money, more problems. Mm. Oh, I thought you wrote that, though. I thought you wrote Puff's verse for that. Nah, Mace wrote that. I wrote oh, okay. the Benjamins, some other stuff. I miss more than I that. I was supposed was to be on album. that song, me, on Money. So it's supposed to be all four of y'all. Yeah, I was gonna be on. Now let's let's talk about Mace. You brought Mace up. This perfect, perfect. Oh, oh no, no, yes, Mace. Because this uh, is perfect because now you know oh, when man. Mace first came out. No, let's, let's, before we get to that, Mace was breaking down his Oracle disc, the Cam, <laughs> and uh, he was talking to Genius, and he said people hold Jada Kiss up there as one of the greats. It's just my path. Didn't request me to be that lyrical. I was a lot better looking, so I didn't have to be a dirty <laughs> artist. Now, were you aware that Mace thinks he looks better than you, Kiss? Nah. Man, I don't think he looks better than me. <laughs> <laughs> My personal opinion. <laughs> My personal opinion. <laughs> but, you know. Now, when that disc came out, Charlamagne ooh. talked about that a lot. He was really offended that Mace was concerned about his looks and that he was like... It was that, said, but yeah. it was more so this. I was like, look, man, Mace was always cool. He was a cool rapper. But I don't ever remember him being held up in high lyrical regard with the likes of Kiss. I think Mace the, was nice, though. Mace, Mace came, in, Mace Mace came was. in, he was a he was monster nice. wanting was. to come he, in, but me was a being, different style us from being with him early, he told us, once I once it goes good for me, I'm I'm shiny suiting it, and he had that, that was his plan. That's his so plan. that's why I ain't never mad at him. He was, he was all foregone. That other route that Puff had for him. He never planned on staying repping the hood and you yeah. know what I mean? He planned on I'm going Rockettes with it. I just think <laughs> lyrically <laughs> he said <Rockettes>. <laughs> <laughs> didn't I just think lyrically, I don't even think he was top five on Bad Boy. Lyrically. I say big, you, Styles, Chic, G Depp, and Black Rock. Lyrically. I gotta throw Mason in. I gotta throw I think Mason. Young Mason. Go Mace. 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 Which one well, of those guys is Mace better than? That's a whole nother Come on, <laughs> yo, be for real. Like, come on. Which they one saying they would put him top five. Y'all would put nah, him in the top number six. five. I gotta listen to G Depp album because the way you claim G Depp album was dope. Yeah, you can't put G Depp before murder. See, I'm, I'm, talking talking about, I'm just talking about bars. I ain't talking you about nothing else. Bars. That's what we're talking, yeah, nah. talking about. We ain't talking about dance moves and shiny suits. We talking about just bars. <laughs> you think Mace was better than Depp? I do too. Mace used to spit. Yeah. Now, Mace and who's the last Mace one you said you Mace, said Black Rock? Once you take yep. off all of the, clear everything Mace off. Mace used to spit. Mace could give you some, Mace yeah, there was a Mace. Mace, Mace, Mace B-Dot yeah. from Rap Radar told me Mace was better than Styles. He lost his mind. <laughs> that was, that, that was, he, that's what he told me this weekend. We was having a big debate about it. He went a little too far with that. I one. lost respect for you, B-Dot. <laughs> I had a lot of respect for your ears. Even, uh, next question. <laughs> <laughs> what did y'all think of, of the the Mace? Because I know you're both lyrical rappers. Mace's uh, Oracle record. I thought it was. I thought it was a good. I thought it was good for hip hop on on the um, aspect of what it was. You know what I mean? But you think that? I thought he had some bars. I think his delivery was a tiny bit rusty, but that might be just because he don't. You know this. I don't know when the last time Mace has put out records or. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I think it, the bars was there. I think he... I actually spoke to Mace the day they put that out, actually. Yeah, he actually I called me. Too. Wow, you wrote he, the record for him. He was nah, feeling I, really, <laughs> wow, I actually fat. was surprised that I was even getting a call from him. And I spoke to Cam that same day. This, was, right, a weird, you this was a weird day for me. huh? What did Mace call you for? He okay. called me out of... Oh, because I was having a party. I was having my birthday party. So he. I guess that it segued, but it started where it just called... And I don't really answer numbers that ain't stored in my phone. So, mm -hmm. but I was waiting from a for a call from Fifty for some. So I thought maybe it was Fifty. And I asked up, and he was like, "Yo," and he was like, uh, "I had to spank him." I'm like, "Yo, who this?" <laughs> <laughs> wow. I had to spank him, <laughs> and he's like, "It's murder." So I was like, oh. "So I'm like, oh, what up, Mace? Was good." <laughs> and then we just started talking. Or, or you know, what I mean, he was talking about that. He was talking about you know, he was letting Cam. You know, uh, uh, Cam been taking shots at him for years, and he kept shooing it away. And you know what I mean. And then later on that night, I spoke to Cam. Cam called me. See, he, Cam said he was gonna play the record at your party. Yeah, he said he was coming to the party. Both of them never ended up showing to the, showing up to the party though. But you know what I mean. Cam uh, was telling me, yeah, we going there. He posted something on Instagram. I was like, oh man, like. I don't want no beef tensions at my party. I want this a nice, smooth, oh, good party. Oh, that would party. have been terrible if Mace and Cameron got yeah, into a Yeah, we don't want no hell party. up in Harlem up in the party. Like, you know what I mean? Mace used to throw uh, subliminals at you all the time. He, he, yeah, I guess they that was say, in they the competition. They tried to the say you're one of his sons. I mean, I, I think when I first came out, it was a lot of comparison, you know, in our styles and our, 
you know, cadences a little bit. But I I I think since after that, after the beginning, I kind of just carved my own. own yeah, right. I don't even, you know, that comparison you ain't even, you know what I mean? Lyrically, you better. Not taking nothing from me. I just don't think lyrically mm. he was ever, like, one of the... The grapes, like when? That's due to your opinion. Everybody, just like you said, B dot. They like there's certain people who hold Mace as the god. Like, like you know, that's just retarded. Let's be honest, that's just retarded. Mace I think thousand. he was nice. I think Mace was nice in this heyday. And Mace did take nice. a Mace long. Is, like, Mace is still nice. Yeah, Mace, I don't think. I don't if you think peel y'all, everything off and yeah. give him a beat, he's gonna give you. Yeah, some. he's he's, he's witty. He got he got lines. He's not. You know, he's he's not shabby at all. I just think that, you know, it's it's he per your opinion, it's per what you he like. He makes money off him, but he can still rhyme. Now he's pissed. Well, back to Freddie versus Jason. I feel like you guys have made adult contemporary hip hop. That was the hardest. That should be, you know how they take them things and put them? That line you said about the album should be Def Jam, so somebody should take it and do some marketing around Cause that. Cause it's age appropriate. I feel like y'all embracing OG status, y'all giving the young boys game. Mm. Like it feels age appropriate. Was that on purpose? Nah, no, I'm we just, just did. We, we didn't yeah. go for no whatever the sound is now or no yeah. age demographic. We just went in there and made the music we thought was appropriate for the project. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I th- that's what it was more about, just the project as a whole, like sonically. And I even took the fabulous out of it because I wasn't trying to make radio singles or mm-hmm. a song for the girls. or You know what I mean? It was just about me and Kiss coming together for this project. Yeah, and I'm not and, talking about drugs that much. Yeah. I'm I'm really being <laughs> like yeah. Jason. You're talking about the Nino Browns turning into Pookies now, too. Is that disappointing Hardball. for you guys? To hear that in the music, hardball. Nah, that's fab. just what mm. it is, cause you know we came from the drug selling era, and they this is now the drug using era. Yeah. So that I, was a great line. I think they both was morally wrong, but at the same it's time, not, it's not something. In that glorified. era, I always say the drug dealer looks a little cooler than the junkie. So <laughs> that's right. how I relate. That's facts. If your you know eyeballs mean? work, yeah. but they all end up the same place though. They all end up in jail, dead, dead or in a bad space. Yeah, of, that's why I said it's morally yeah. wrong. But if you just looking at the image of it, you know what I mean? Would you rather be Which a one would you rather be? Or would you rather be? <laughs> right. A ball player. Some of the ball players is junkies too. Make it, look, at, look at the story like, oh, drug dealer turned to the iconic figure of the world. Right. So it's, a, it's always a chance you can make it out. Who's the junkie hold? DMX. He, Russell Simmons. Sam, I'm Sam saying, yeah, Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. There's a lot of people yeah, that was Russell Simmons talks yeah. about Russell all the Simmons. drugs Russell he used Simmons. to use. Yeah. Mm-hmm. X too. X was a bad off yeah. at one point, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. X is a, st- a story. X is still having issues, though. Is he about to go back to jail again now? Is that the taxes thing? Oh, yeah, that's the taxes thing. Yeah. DMX should be exempt from jail. Just because I feel like he's got a higher calling. Like, he don't need to be in jail. What's jail going to do for X? X need to be in with rehab it. or something like help help the that's brother out. That's the same out. thing you can say about Meek Mill. Like, there's a lot of people who turn their life around, and you know they 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 mean more, you know, on the streets or or than they would in jail. Like Meek's situation is really uh, a a situation that came from a long time ago, and he's he's progressed in so many different ways. But they still are holding him to this thing he might have did when he was 19 I think years that's old. That's part of being living and catching the case in the Commonwealth. Mm-hmm. State, but we, they need to change it though. Something mm-hmm. needs to be. That's they could use him as an example for years. probation if they want. They could send him on a on a tour and talk to kids who on probation and show them that you know you could come from that situation and do more. I just think that he could do more outside of the jail than the inside. Like they making an example out of him more than like you know helping him. Absolutely. Now I saw you guys talking about doing a tour that is definitely coming, and I seen people trying to pitch themselves. Have you decided who's going to go on tour for you guys with you guys? No, nah, not yet. I mean, I I haven't even seen the pitch uh, thing. It's probably just been go. running. Yeah, people go. are saying, yo, who let needs me to go on tour? Y'all don't need nobody to go on tour with y'all. You got, but y'all got y'all project together, but then you got catalog. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't. I would love don't to mind letting somebody, yeah, let somebody open you know, it's That's open the door. It's always yeah. a platform yeah. to, mm-hmm. to let somebody, you know, if they fit. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't think you just put anything out there like. Who would fit? You think? Rich homie Quan. Uh, what? Why you just Alamo? Yeah, I don't know why you just <laughs> said that. Joke, but... You know the funny thing about Rich Homie Quan? You know, it was a funny story with that because right before he went on to do that, what's the name? Fendi was with him. I guess Fendi was with Kim and they were together. So mm-hmm. he FaceTimed me and um, Rich Homie is my guy. Quan is my guy. He was so... up here bigging you up. He was like, yo, Fab. I don't know if you yeah, said that's... that on the air off the air. He was like, yo, Rich Fab. That's my guy. So great. That's Rich my guy. Like, he, like I, I, I really 
like that's a like my friend of mine. So like he uh we on the FaceTime and I'm like, yo, Quan, you got it? You know what I mean? Cause I just know that it's not his generation. He's you know what I mean? He was like, right. Yeah, so he like, yo, nah, I got it. I got it, big bro. I got it. And then when he went out there and hit the aloe a lot, I said, I thought you had it, Quan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for the VH1 thing when you yeah. 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 record. Yeah. <laughs> And so it was It was a funny thing. We laughed about it and all that. I was like, yo. And that's why I was calling to check in with him because I'm like, yo, man, do you do you got that? Like, you know, it's 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 hard. If you, if it's something that you don't know, like, yeah. you know, we know it right. because we grew up in it. We and, you know, I can sing too. it with my eyes closed. And, and I sleep probably. But, you know, for somebody who's 25 or younger, you know, that's a, that's still something for them to learn because they, right. don't, they don't know it. They got to memorize it. They didn't choice. live it. That's another thing. I don't think. That rich homie should have been, but that's a whole nother. Yeah, it's a whole nother in there. Now, you know what I meant to ask when you when you first got your deal, Fab. You were you supposed to go to Epic at first or Sony at first? No, nah, I first got my deal. I was on Interscope. Interscope before that, because I, I was it something with Steve Stout and Steve Stout didn't believe at one time, and that's why they moved to a different place. Nah, I was I was I was at Interscope. Steve Stout was there. He was he was ahead of that, and um, Clue worked there, and um. So my deal was through Desert Storm and the Scope, and, the scope right. and Clue got fired. And when Clue got <laughs> fired, <laughs> Clue got fired. They asked me that I want to stay on Interscope <laughs> or go with Clue. Loyalty. So it was a hard Loyalty. choice for me was because it a hard choice? yeah, you got a record deal. It's your first record deal. Why right. you want to walk away? I'm, I know I'm gonna get another record deal. True. So, but. I left with Clue because I felt like if I stay at Interscope, I don't know any of these people up here. I came in with Clue. You know, unfortunately, I really didn't want to leave. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I didn't want to leave my... That was the end all be all of rapping, I guess, at that time, getting a record deal. deal. So I really didn't want to leave, but I left with Clue. We ended up getting the next deal at um, Electra Electra a little bit while after that. We started just grinding again on a mixtape tip, and Little Mo heard it, and that led to Superwoman, and to another a couple more R&B remixes and shit popped off. So mm. I, I guess I made the right loyal move. And yeah, definitely, man. Let's Stick talk about some of, these, some of these bars, man. You said, uh, I tell you what you need to hear, not trying to insult you. I'm, I'm too old I'm too old to kid yeah. you. I got to adult you. Yeah, that's just like, you know, when you're talking to somebody, I guess when you get to a certain age, like you're not trying to, you know what I mean? Everybody talk about keeping it real, but it's just really about just um, being forward and communicating, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like sometimes you you have situations where it's an issue. I just had like a little issue with Keisha Cole that what I didn't that even about? really I know. That, in the club that y'all yeah, it was really it. It, it it was really over somebody else that had told her something, and she never really checked in with me to see if I felt like that. But I felt a little funny tension, tension with her. Like you know, every time I seen her, she would duck yeah. off or she ain't speak or she, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it was a little weird. But we had the party together, so I don't know if Fendi went over there and said something to her because he 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 knows her too. So I think he might have went over there, and she just felt like you know. So a lot of people think like Fab, like I don't, yeah, he ain't rocking with me. I don't. So she was over there, and I think he told her like, Nah, Fab ain't got no problem with you. Like you know, come over. So when she came over, I'm like, What's up with you, Keisha, man? What's going on? And she started explaining, and she told me, Yeah, Rugs told me this, and da 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 da. Oh boy, I'm like Rugs. Oh, Rugs. Oh, boy. I'm like, oh. So how you, you know, know, how you got beef with Keisha Cole? That's, that's so what random. I was saying. I don't got no. I don't want no beef with Keisha. Keisha from Wild Oakland. I don't want no beef with Keisha. But nah, it was it was just really a misunderstanding, and just us not talking is what let it the go. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because yeah. when you see somebody and they don't speak to you, you you you, you take in defense of it. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah, like, yeah, yo, yeah. what the fuck is wrong with Keisha? Like, so that's where you know what I mean. But we talk. We took a shot of nineteen forty two. And you know the rest was history. Y'all was adulting. The the Y'all adulted. Yeah. Adulting. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean. So that's pretty much where. So you're saying it was all Rugs' fault. I, I guess. I mean, I'm not saying that, but it, it, no, you I'm know, kidding. Rugs told her something, and she was she reacted off of that instead of speaking. Like you know what I mean. Me and Keisha got her own relationship. So right. she, I mean, she just went off of what Rugs told her. Well, Rugs inspired an amazing bar. <laughs> now, now, Jada, you said one thing about the devil. He gonna always pop up, pitchfork with a shovel. Mm-hmm. I, that's just like you know when you when you in the space or you doing something positive or you trying to accomplish something, a monkey wrench is gonna always come in. You know what I mean? The devil's always gonna try to test you or see where you at with it. You just gotta overcome all of that. Yeah, everything I do would be like an angel on one shoulder, mm-hmm. and devil, a on devil on the other shoulder. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Even at this point in your life. Yep. Always. Yep. It's a, like a. 
it's it's you got to make the decision. That's mm-hmm. the beauty of it. You know, that shows where your maturity at. It shows where your, you know, where your life lessons has brought you. You know what I mean? When you're young and you don't know, you old, you kind of more go to the devil side. Devil, than, yeah. You know, riding with right the devil side. more yeah. when you're on the younger. Team. It's easy for him. He's a, he, you're an easy uh, persuasion. Come on, man. It's popping over here. It's lit. You know what I mean? And you just mm-hmm. all right. Kind of do it. Now, how did the the loss of Ice Pick affect you, Kiss? Because I mean, Pick was tore me apart. Was yeah. was everything? You know what I mean? And, and for somebody that you see all the time, and you you see as a, I mean, he, he was God he bless was, the dead. Rest in peace, Pick. A, 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 a man's man, savage. Like you 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 need him for something. He's there. You know. This album was actually like a. Rehabilitation, or you know what I mean, just a like a tester, just to get me over it a little bit, somewhat. Mm-hmm. Cause I ain't when when he passed on me, it it finished me. Like he was my he was my A and R. He was my partner. He was he's like my big brother. Like right. even with without nothing to do with music, like real life stuff with my kids. With when I was sending my son to college. He just helped me with all kind of like he called me in the morning, yo, work out, take your vitamins, I'm gonna call you back, then we gonna talk some industry. So he was he was just on me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So once I lost him, it was like a big a big loss, a big mm-hmm. void in my whole circle. So, you know what I mean? This this project right here is helping me get back into the to the swing of things. He was a real healthy guy too though. That's the part that killed me. He ate ate all watercress. He could ride his bike from Harlem to Brooklyn. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, he was one of the strongest people I'd know ever. But you know what I mean? When you inherit, like when something, when that cancer dog is just crazy. You could be, it don't matter. It don't, cancer don't care what, who or what you are or what you, when it hits you, it hits you, yeah. He mm-hmm. also was a part of the project too. When we first started and we was having meetings, Pick mm-hmm. used to be there. Pick you pull me aside. Like they get on the elevator, pick us pick a step out the elevator and told me. So he's a real solid dude. Really wanted to see this project go. So even this coming out, like, you know, it was kinda like we, we did we it had for him, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Ice Pick and rest in peace. You named the song Ice Pick, but it's not about Ice Pick. Nah, cause he he actually gave that beat. He 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 picked that beat. Oh, all right. You know what I mean? So that's the least I could do. I probably do a song in his name down the line, but I just had to, for him being involved in the project, we had to do something for his name. You know what I mean? Put something in it. That's how much he was actually giving beats and mm-hmm. stuff too. Like you know what I mean? He was definitely. A no, Pick was the one that was calling me for the for the freestyles in the morning. Pick mm-hmm. was the yeah, one that was like, on. I'm waking Kiss up now. Yeah, yeah but we'd be, be like, it's the last minute. Is is it gonna make it? He picked. That was all Pick. Sometimes when I ain't think I could do one. Pick and call me, you gotta do it. Hit me with the he artwork them guys before too. I even got one bar out. This is the artwork. Pick called right, me pick. one time, it was like, Jada's on vacation. He lands at one. I'm gonna make him do it at 1.30, you're gonna have it by two. I was like, Pick, there is no freaking way. And he made it work every mm. time. Pick one of them dudes too that in his passing that everybody you know, yeah, he's like a, he was like a him. human like, instinct. You know I mean? mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know nobody that don't like Pick. Like, everybody, yeah, yeah. everybody, like, <laughs> everywhere you go, they love them. And, and, and that's it's rare, it's cause it, you know what I mean? It's rare. That's rare. When, when you pass, there's somebody that'd be like, yes. Yeah, one, but he's yeah. with him, one of them people that. <laughs> that's terrible. Mm-hmm. Who so don't like incense? Like, that's rap funny as hell. <laughs> who don't like? That's a good way to describe it. Who don't like incense? <laughs> now, now our pray is really dope on that record too. Mm-hmm. Fab, you say uh, you don't pray as, as much as we should. We call in bad times, don't stay in touch when we good. Is, is that something you've been battling with recently, like your spirituality? Um, I mean, I think it's part of me, but I think that's a lot with everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and sometimes people, you know, smooth it over. You know, like when somebody win an award, they say, I like to thank God, but they don't thank God on a daily mm-hmm. right. to get to that award. You know what I mean? They think right like there, they times the time. with it. Yeah. Yeah. Or they call or they pray to God when something when bad is going yeah. on. You'd be you know like, God, please don't let somebody this happen. Sit, somebody's in a, a time of a need, you know what I mean? But you know what I mean? I just I just wanted to speak that into mm-hmm. the world and even to change change how people feel about thanking God or praying or you know what I mean? That's you it. guys cool. look at this as maybe um there'll be a part two? Are you already talking about that? Uh, no, talk about it, but it's possible. Five I think years it's down the line. I think it's, it, we I not think it's needed for hip hop, so though. You don't hold us accountable. <laughs> I think it's Take needed, the, though. The fifth, I think fam. once a year, or, 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 or mm-hmm. once a you know, year, okay. You know, just that kind of project, even if it's not once a year, whatever it is, I think it it, it <laughs> it's needed like, in nah. the game. <laughs> Too much pressure for me. I'm pleading the fifth. What's your favorite joint of the album? Soul food. 
Oh, you're not asking me. I'm not asking you. Switches for me. Recently, I've been rocking Fab Solo joint, Nightmares, mm -hmm. and drink that joint right there. Like Were you surprised when LL? Did I, well, well, he redid it. Well, he was rapping to That was major promotion. That was legendary. That was that was legend. My mom's talking about that. Yeah, L is L is a legend, and you don't see L giving it up too much. So, Not you at know all. What I, mean? like, I was surprised. Very that's, rare. That's a, Shout out to my mom. She in the hospital. Get well, Mama Love. I love you, baby. Oh yeah, pray, prayers up for her. Now t let's talk about it with Tiana Taylor. I feel like y'all made that record before the election, and then went back in when the election. We did. Was over. It was right. Yeah, you can tell. It. That's it. That's it. The it was done. It wasn't. Tell. Nah, the, the, the whole song, the whole was, song done was done last year. Done a year That's how you know that that conversation is still needed to be had because it was done before the the election, and now we still having the same same thing conversation. The Kaepernick, yeah. the NFL, the the Trump. cop killing, all of that has still been going on since we even made that record. So you know, it's definitely that that song was about having a conversation. Let's talk about what's going on. Let's not keep letting it just, you know, happen and nobody say nothing and remain silent about it or, you know, just in, in music. It needs to be it, it needs to be said, too. You know what I mean? Because it was a ball kiss said where he said, uh, is Hillary going to let all the drug dealers that Bill put in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was like, that was definitely That's before. Really yeah. Yeah. That, was, that was when Hillary You're was. the only one who caught that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you already know. That what That's what we thought Hillary was going to win. <laughs> and then you, you also see on that record, kids, we could talk about guns but forced to get them. Mm -hmm. So you all for your Second Amendment rights. Definitely. I mean, I think we. I think it's gonna be a time when you gonna need you gonna need some firearms to protect yourself. You know, what I mean, not not to walk around or just carry them recklessly like it used to be in the '90s and early '80s. But as far as protecting your family and showing your family and loved ones how to shoot and properly work a firearm and things of that nature is gonna be needed in the future. If you ask me. All right. I mean, I think it's needed now. I think, I mean, yeah. especially if, if you can own it. In, in a lot of them southern states where you're allowed to own, mm -hmm. you need to. If you go to some of them down the Mason-Dixon line, the whole family is snipers. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody got a gun down there. Everybody. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. You be in the South, you can't even, you might as well not even argue unless you prepared to shoot. It's, it's Draco's at the gas station. Like, it's, it's Behind the seat and they pick yeah. up all that. Right Everywhere there, down they, they all, you see. Atlanta it. open carry. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Yeah, you could, you could carry it in Atlanta. Yeah. You, you also saying, let's talk about it, fat. We 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 more than IG posts with smart captions. Black oh, yeah. actors stop acting and start action. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just was that saying level. that I, that we we need to, you know, speak up and and from every, you know, what I'm saying. I guess a lot of times rappers because we got on a mic and we, you know, we 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 speak down to the youth they look and forward. you know they, they look for only to us, us but yeah. you know there's other role models there's other people with platforms that that need to speak out too you know what i'm saying we, like i said we need more kaepernick and not just with the rapper kicking so that's you know and that with an actor thing is because a lot of actors they big actors and stuff too but they get to like play their roles go back in their crib you don't really see them that much when it when it's not movie time mm -hmm. or promo time not saying all you know just some of them and uh same thing with athletes you know what i'm saying they have they have a uh, a, a job to do too, but at the same time, they could, you know, that's not gonna stop them from being able to play ball or, or doing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, we've seen that within the NFL where people showing their opinions. So sometimes it is a little risk because they could show their opinions and then the team as a whole have a problem with them, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But I think if you you standing up against injustice the same way Kaepernick did, you put that uh, to the front and, and worry about the rest later. And he said Kerr got the credit but forgot about Mark Jackson. I'm trying I'm, I'm No, try not to discredit Kerr. Because okay. I think some people took it as I was trying to bash Kerr. But it was just that Mark Jackson, I feel like, created helped put that, that team together. together. He put that yeah. team together. And, put that team together. and you know, they just kind of just... like, sweep, sweep, like, you know, he, he, they brought I, Kerr in and everybody kind of forgot that Mark, what he did. To, I you know what I mean? cool if they would have even presented him with a ring. Like and gave him that absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah, he this, put that, that together and then shipped them off like that. They just mm -hmm. act like he never had nothing to Maybe do with. Mm -hmm. so was that like a metaphor for white or black people doing the work, white people taking the credit type of thing? Mm -hmm. could it be. could be taken that way. Mm -hmm. I just yeah, I was kind of just stating that you know we can't forget and we need to speak up. Some think the whole song is about talking about something. That was something that was just on my mind that you know Mark Jackson didn't get any credit for putting that team together and. Uh, or maybe he did in a certain light, but like he said, he didn't get a ring or he didn't get, you know. They didn't show, they didn't. Due recognition yeah. to me, so. And kids, why the locks keep giving out these four packs? I mean, you know, it's, that's what it is. I mean, you gotta give out some samples sometimes. 
We got we got the full fledged coming though. Right now. Soon. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm saying they that for like with 15. The locks, that been, they've been, <laughs> so, been saying this. about 10 years <laughs> now. <laughs> nah, 15. 15, it, easy. Man. And I just I do want to clear up that so it was March 1st, 2016 that you guys announced this album. So it wasn't years and years I ago. I told her like, what, yeah. Yeah. didn't I say that? Off, off, off of the top of my head. Almost, almost two years. years. I think it was a year and a half. It was a year and a half. The freestyles, I knew it I knew it was only it was only a year, really. And how many clearances did you have to get for samples and stuff? Was it a lot? A few it was yeah. That's the part that making. sucks with in, with making a project. The samples. How many records yeah, did y'all do? Big Al Green. Did y'all do more than, than twelve records, or was Maybe it one 12. or two more? That's it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was really shaped like we ain't even attacked stuff that we didn't think was really. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We might take a shot at the dart, but throw a, throw a dart at the board. But we ain't really like just do a bunch of records and have to scale down. Sometimes that makes making a project harder too, because you have so many records. The next thing you know, you got a Chris Brown 45 song. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Because so, you don't want to cut anything or, you know what I mean? People fall in love with records. So we just tried to do what we thought was really needed. I'm know? glad y'all got it done, man. Did you ever find out if Irv blocked the Ashanti from being in the video? I, I, I seen a did. comment. Seen, Irv said seen, he did. Irv I seen a comment. He, he said he did. Oh, yeah, he, he said that was kind of his. made a mistake. Comment. Yeah, he said he should have. They should have did, did that. that. You ever spoke to him about it? Oh, no, you never spoke to him. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> it's a couple people. Like, that's when you do podcasts, all them stories and all them little thoughts. Like, that's why I don't even be liking doing podcasts. You start thinking of, he did curve me then, huh? You know what I mean? But, you know, it'd be. It be other times sometimes, you know what I mean? I, I don't know what happened. I just know that they ain't do it at that time. I felt like So Into You was a big record. That's Kiss has said my that's favorite record. wedding record. When I get married, I'm I'm having them do that. And they and they swear that. I'm going to ask me Ashanti, and too. Ashanti. Because he, blamed, <laughs> he blamed Ashanti, too. He threw, he threw Ashanti under there, too. So I got a good relationship. I'm going to hear Ashanti say, Oh, we already asked her. We, she, she was up here this morning. Oh, where? She said she didn't know anything about that. She, 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 she said she don't even know what happened. She did the record wow. and... That was that. That went over her head. Wow. That was, that's that what Irv was, was on fire at that was, time. Yeah. I think that's what it was. Murder Inc. was on fire, and I think they were just really uh, gauging. gauging who they wanted to give their looks to. and They didn't care. They was, just, they was in for the bag. I remember Irv charged me 30000 for a seven-year-old Jobbers. Mm. You paid it? Yep. Irv Jobbers was on fire at that point. I had no choice. Mm. Hope was supposed to be on Foolish Remix. I mean, Foolish. The original version. Where? On the way to the studio and everything. Irv was oh. like, nah, he called him and said, nah, I don't want to do it. I don't see what Ashanti can do on her, by on her own. That's what Ashanti said this morning. Yeah, nah, I heard that story. Yeah. <laughs> worked it out. worked out. Yeah, it worked out. Yeah, she did it. You all take these things personally, though? Like, when you hear these stories later on? Nah, but some of them now, you could get answers now to just see really what it is, because it's mm -hmm. past it. At that mm -hmm. time, you might have been a little what's mm -hmm. name. Now, you know, I just wanted to say, like, yo, Irv, what happened with that? Why y'all ain't... Why y'all ain't never do this? So it's just, you can get that real answer. And everybody's away from Everybody's it, so cool, they can yeah. really be real with it and be like, right. nah, we just curved you. Was it? <laughs> That's what I love about y'all right. getting older, the game getting say, older. Whatever, everybody, everybody can have right? these conversations. You know? <laughs> like, Jada, did you really want to throw the refrigerator off the roof on Puff? <laughs> Thinking back on it? Maybe not a double door, maybe just a regular, <laughs> a just a regular joint. <laughs> the one door joint. The little mini fridge? Nah, <laughs> you know, that whole thing was just like, Having a, oh, man. it had to be frustrating. Having a, yeah, you know, just, 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 oh, man. Yo, just I like beefing with your big brother campaign, joint. Yo. You know what I mean? Be the locks. But you, you can, you can see how much power Puff used to wield. Cause I remember even the joint on the uh, Rough Riders compilation was like, definitely don't ask me nothing about, and it was bleeped out. On the contract, they had once we got off, it was a gag order. Then you know wow. you gotta pay. You say anything, you mention his name or anything like that. It was. A, like a million dollars or get the fuck something, out of here! Something crazy yeah, we would have had to pay. Puff is smart. If I let yeah. you go, you what? can't say my name. Right, it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, don't tag me. Don't drag me through the mud. We had to pay some crazy. Step. You know, Puff is Puff. He can't. He can. He can go at it with anybody. You right. can't. We fortunate to be able to be alive. <laughs> and go. You know what I mean with that whole let the locks go campaign. So Yo, I, really I love. I, I love him. Yep, Picking signs and all that. He 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 really showed us the game. Mm -hmm. Him and Rough Riders, they they showed us from young men how to become men and learn the business and all the experiences we went through on them labels is what made us who we are today. Just learning what not to do and how to carry yourself appropriately. Part of the process. Mm -hmm. how, how do y'all grade y'all debut albums? Like, how do you grade you know your, your first album, Fab, and, and Kiss? How do you grade the Locks' first album? It depends on what kind of grade. 
Is it, if you're going for a grade grade or just the, how I felt at the time making it, because it was a, those times of music was way different. It was just millions of dollars to blow. <laughs> you can just, I ain't ready yet. I need more money. All right. I need more videos. I need more everything. So I didn't really, the sales and the accomplishments of it is the end of, like, I don't really look at that. I just look at what I did while I was making it in time. You know what I mean? Do you think it was a good album in hindsight? Money, Power, Respect? It was a good album, I guess. It did. I, I wouldn't, I ain't mad at it. I'm mad at the, I ain't like the clothes that Diddy had. <laughs> <out of swing. laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at the, the substance of it. Money, what was it? Not the, their first the album first was album. about We Are The Streets. Money, Power, Respect. Second. Yeah, that was the second oh, joint. Money, Power, Respect. Yeah. Yeah. You forgot about that. Oh, that's where Let's yeah. Start Love Over. And all, that's oh, where All For The Love and all of them shits mm-hmm. is on that. What about Ghetto Fabulous? How do you grade that? I was so young and, and the, that was like the first time of me really putting a project project together mm-hmm. that it was more based on like um, Clue and Duro's direction and like me just coming in and filling in the Doing mix, what rapping. Say, yeah. mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I wasn't, even down to the production, even the first single, Can't Deny It, I remember us uh, getting some beats from Rick Rock who had who was hot from doing some stuff from Rockefeller. So a lot of Clue and Duro Clues stuff came like off a lineage of mm-hmm. Rockefeller. Rockefeller you know leftovers, saying? basically. Nah, not leftovers. No, just just, the just the, they, they learned the game under yeah, them yeah. too. Like yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Every it trickles down. So you know, Rick Rock had was doing stuff for Jay and all of that and stuff, Beanie. and then you know that's how we came and got a beat. But we we made this um, decision really to try Nate Dogg on mm-hmm. on Can't Deny Hook because the the vibe of it was West Coast, but I was East Coast. So and and the game was just getting out of like a big East Coast, West Coast beef kind of thing. So we thought it might be a cool thing to, uh, you know, bridge the gap a little bit with me and Nate. And uh, we did that. But that was all, you know, it was all kind of put together by like Clue and Duro on the first project. I was more like just coming in and doing. So like a lot of that project was a team effort. It wasn't just like me knowing because I didn't really know how to make an album at that point. Yeah, it seems like both of y'all got in pocket later because that time in hip hop was so weird. Cause he was doing all the samples from the records from the '80s and trying to make people dance. Like mm-hmm. that really didn't fit with what y'all guys do. Yeah, and then we both too come from the street. So even like my joint when we did the the holla back with Pharrell and he was like was holla back. To do that. I was yeah. like, what? Like that was another thing that coming <laughs> up as an artist from the street and they trying to get you to expand and be right. make More hit records right. and you're like. Man, I'm not saying holler back, woo woo. You know what I'm saying? It just felt weird. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just like you know, you wanted to make. I wanted to make keeping it gangster, gangster kind of records, but I, yeah. I was like, you know, kept being told you can't make every record like keeping it gangster. You can make a keeping it gangster, but your whole album can't be keeping it gangster. But it would have been a fan too that would have loved oh, the whole man, album yeah. of keeping it gangster. It just wouldn't have been a broader. You still fan. do. You don't do holler back, youngin anymore on the shows, do you? Sometimes when yeah. I do like a little throwback set, yeah, mm-hmm. I do that. Now, Jadakiss, let's go back to what you were saying earlier. You've been planning your wedding? Nah, not yet. Because you said you had you already know what songs and everything. Nah, and nah. Come so on, Angela. <laughs> yeah, she was recording. I said when, when, when and if <laughs> and when <laughs> that song's going to be in my wedding. What's been pushed back more, the wedding or the lockdown? Which one? Which nah, one? nah, nah. I never, planned, <laughs> I never planned a wedding and pushed it back. I never gave you no release date. All right? <laughs> I like, I like Let that the guys locks think go. about what songs <laughs> they want to hear in their wedding. Jadie, because like, yeah. I got to go home. I ain't playing That's with y'all. That's important. It's important. You know what I mean? Songs is important. I be, getting, I be getting <laughs> offers to do like so into you at weddings. I be turning them down. He only wedding. doing it at one wedding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just at yours. That's right. <laughs> Why get married now, though? <laughs> I didn't say I'm getting married. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the woman, right, though. Yeah. You brought it up. You that's said that's my wedding song. The women, I, I, women like I'm, that. They need I'm that. Because I'm planning it in my mind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In my <laughs> mind, you got to be You got to be prepped. Yeah, men, you got to have good. a prep. We could, we could coast out. Men, <laughs> men, you good. Like, I, what we need to do all of that for? We, we <laughs> mentally married. Yeah, anyway. you already yeah, married. Yeah. Women, they need that. You know, they want the dress. They need they the wanna, title. They need the They want a ring, the flaunt. Like, you know what I mean? Look, we got this Fab album out the way. We're going to do this Locks album, then my next solo album, then we can get married. 
Damn, man. That'll buy you about 15 years. How did we get there? I'll get you about 15 years. Friday on Elm Street, ladies and gentlemen. Everywhere now. Stream it, download it. You know. Well, we appreciate Sorry, guys. you guys for joining us. And you shouldn't have said it. Every question is gonna be that now. Yo, man. But listen, great project. I think y'all. I don't think I don't think there's hype to be lived up to. Cause like projects like this, you can't. There's no expectation you can meet. But it's a great album. That's all you can ask Absolutely. for. Thank I you. I think though. Appreciate I think it. people in this era, they they love to see it fail and try to. Yeah. yeah they wait for the. They wait so for the. For us to to really people to appreciate it. Especially was, was, a lot of people I know. Yeah. They haters. Wanted to, uh, I think people were excited when it first. Started. No, I think they were excited about yeah. the project, but they it seemed like people are so negative now that they can't wait to go online and be like, "Oh, this shit is trash." Absolutely, you know what I mean? Well, that's I mean, what I was saying with Cardi. They the promote go- more the bad than if it was right. good. Yes, if it was bad, we might have got double the press that we yes. got. Like, because <laughs> Cardi putting out her single on the fifteenth, I'm like, "Yo, don't tell people that," because mm-hmm. people are already going ready they to say it's whack. Yeah. They already saying it's whack. Not even heard it. Yeah, yeah. Expectations they, pre- they prejudge. They prejudge before it even comes. Well, I'm just happy you guys Both. got it done. I'm happy you guys are <laughs> doing radio with each other because I was like, they're going to go to radio with each other on all these markets, and mm. you guys have been. Yeah. This yeah. is a collective project. We got to push it together to make it. I mean, it's one of them Hollywood. I don't really. He don't got his own around. trailer. And, I mean, we could ride in the same sprinter. We could we could be next to each other with, and it's all love. Yeah, and this the tour is, is really different. happening, right? Yeah, the tour? Okay. yeah, we want to get yeah. out there. We'll it's it's there. different too, cause a lot of people wasn't even the other collab collab albums. I don't think they really nah. did press together. They might have went on the road one, together, but dudes not don't really. be really cool. They yeah. just be That's doing it. Be facade collab. Mm-hmm. I seen Kiss on the flight going to LA. He was like, "Yeah, me and Fab got radio in LA." I'm like, "Wow, they're mm-hmm. really moving with it." Like I thought it was gonna be one market done, but mm-hmm. I'm surprised. I'm happy. They had man. no faith. Yeah, we did a lot. I definitely <laughs> didn't have no faith. We did a lot. <laughs> this right. ain't even the press promo era like I don't Not even, at all. I don't even do I think I come see y'all like every time we drop so I don't really I gotta start just popping in yeah, on y'all yeah just use though. us every time y'all got something coming out and you know Y'all know Fab is definitely not coming up here nah, unless he's promoted. Chop it up. <laughs> Hell no. All right, well, there you have it. Fab, Jada Kiss, Friday on Elm Street. Download it, stream it now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.